All right, Pisces, getting ready to do your reading here. This is a random, timeless love reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, it's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? But uh, if the title brought you in here, I promise there's something in here for you. I do the titles at the end, you know. I'm going to tell you something, Pisces. This is my third try doing your reading. Computer keeps freezing up, keeps dying on me. Keeps. I mean, this is literally the third try to do this reading. Uh, when that happens, there's a reason for it. The universe, these cards want to talk. I'm not even kidding. I'm so frustrated right now because the second try was a pretty good reading. Okay. I'm like, wow, this is... Uh, fortunately, the message has been pretty much the same in, in reading. So I'll give you the basic message here that's been coming out. Uh, again, it's very similar to your mid-March. All right. Uh, this is timeless. So anytime you watch it, the energies are cyclical. They come around. So anytime you watch this... Uh, it it is what it is but uh, make sure the video is still working is my hand moving okay there we go Wow uh, it, it's essentially they want to work on things with you okay but they feel it might be too late or, or whatever uh, it, it's very similar to your mid to, to your mid March reading you think this is over it's not over uh, let's let's cut the deck for Pisces for the third time uh, this is unbelievable when this happens there's always a reason for it. There's always a reason for it. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do the final shuffle here. Again, this is timeless, so when you find it, you find it. Two years, doesn't matter. General reading uh, may or may not resonate with you. If you, want a pro if you want a personal reading, visit my website, stevesloveterro.com. Links in the uh, description and on the channel feed. Okay? There we go. Boom. <laughs> Bottom... Bottom of the deck on reading three for Pisces is the same damn card that was here in reading two that you don't get to see because it didn't record. Uh, but I swear to God, it was the seven of cups. And that's why I laughed on freaking real. Uh, you think this is over? It's not over. That's the energy around this card. Okay. It's the same kind of thing that was in your mid-March reading that I did for you. But the energies have probably shifted. All right. A little bit maybe that's why I'm doing this reading everything happens for a reason who knows um, they're trying to figure out it's kind of the gist of what I got in reading number two and number one they're trying to figure out a way to come towards you because they think it might be too late well, let's let's let the cards talk they want to talk maybe third times the charm right Right here is the energy around your person or your situation. Right here is how they feel, their emotions. This is how they feel about you. This is a message from the universe, and this is a final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything, and we're going to throw some universe cards over the top. And we're going to pray to God that I can get through this whole video. So this Pisces video here has taken me all, <laughs> all freaking night. First card out for Pisces. Uh, the energy around your situation is the Wheel of Fortune. Again, the same kind of message here. The energy is the same. It's the same energy. This is a general reading. I need to explain this, okay? This is very important because I know you all watch a bunch of different tarot readers and everybody's got the same spiel, right? We're all like, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. A lot of them say that so you don't ding them in the comments or, or click a down thumbs down because it doesn't resonate with you. Nobody ever really seems to explain to you why it may not resonate with you and what a general reading is. All right, a general reading, if you're an energy reader like me and you read the cards intuitively, you pull the energy, uh, a, a general energy from the universe. The strongest energy comes in uh, around a given sign or a given theme or a given question as, as we're shuffling the deck, okay? That's the general energy. It's the guiding energy, all right, that governs many of you, many different of you, depending on your chart. It governs a wide number of you. The ones who this resonate with, who this reading will resonate with, are governed by that general energy. Off of that general energy are offshoots, hundreds of them. And those offshoots are your individual story, your specific story. So in a personal reading, we get your specific story and we, we sort of read off of that energy. But for a general reading, we can't do that. I can't read for you, Monica, or, or you, Jessica, Whoever you, wherever you are, yeah, yeah, you right there with the with the popcorn and all that. I, I can't do that. So we're just reading the general uh, overlaying energy, sort of the shell, you know, kind of a thing. Not the peanut butter inside, but the container of the peanut butter. So you need to apply this to your situation. 
Uh, never seen it more. The reason I say that is because, again, I want people to apply that this is really, really, for this to be the third reading is mind blowing. Wheel of Fortune. Got a bird here. You got communication. This person wants to communicate. We got the moon. There's things they want to communicate. They want to communicate that you don't know. There's an eclipse sun. They're going to communicate, uh, and that will be revealed as the eclipse moves, as the wheel turns. This is destined. Okay. This isn't the third freaking reading. The computer failing two other times for a reason. I'm going to keep waving my hand to make sure the damn thing's still working. I don't want to do this a fourth time. I want you to hear this one. Okay, I really do. Uh, how, do they, how do they feel? Okay, what are their emotions? The king of cups, all right? Whether your person's male or female, it doesn't matter. It's the same freaking message I got in reading one that failed, reading two that failed. This is a wishy-washy prick. It gave you a half a cup of love, okay? And now in their feelings, they think it might be too, it's very clear in the energy, they think it might be too late, okay? I think... Uh, they're, they're praying to the gods that you'll give them another chance. That is in the energy. It's very clear. This is uh, the King of Cups. When, you know, readers read this differently. I, I'm not other readers. I'm me. I'm Steve. Okay? This is how I read the King of Cups. This is how the energy bounces back at me. He's a wishy-washy prick with one foot on the land and one foot on the water. Gives you half a cup of love at best. However, the other energy around this, that's the theme of the card. The general wrapping energy around this that you can apply to your story is they think it's too, it's the same thing as your mid-March. They think it's too late, okay? They think too much time has passed. They're not sure if you're willing to, to even dance with them, you know, have a chat with them or anything like that. However, they're wrong. Uh, I think most of you are, okay, because this Wheel of Fortune is in the general energy, uh, here and in in reading two we had the eight of pentacles here uh, when that reading failed the eight of pentacles was someone who wants to work on things with you okay uh, the same energy is here except in here in reading three the universe is putting this is working on things this is the wheel turning uh, the universe is putting a major arcana spin on it here saying yeah but the universe is driving okay so how do they feel about you okay <laughs> yeah all right, there we go. Eight, eight of cups. Oh, excuse me, nine of cups. Not eight of cups, nine of cups. Wish fulfilled, okay? A, but this moon here on this card, the energy is very strong here. There's a lot they didn't tell you. There's a lot left unsaid here. The message I'm getting off of this card is things left unsaid, all right? The, the woulda, coulda, shouldas, all right? Nine of cups. You're their wish fulfilled. That's how they feel about you. Straight up. Right here is the, uh, oh wow, this is amazing. Look at this. The magician is the message from the universe on this. All right. Uh, they're manifesting this. In this position here, it can mean a lot of different things. It depends how I read the energy, how it comes off in the general. Again, that's why I explained the, the general wrap, the general energy wrap of things. The magician here, they're manifesting this. They are. I'm telling you right now, there's a frantic energy in this person. It, very similar to a Virgo reading I did the other day, only a little bit different. In the Virgo reading, that person went with someone else and, and all that. You know, all, this, this isn't that kind of thing. This is just maybe someone who uh, was closed off or was a little bit shy. And it just now all of a sudden they've got some chutzpah. You know, they've got some guts and they and they want to come forward, but they're just not sure it's doing. They're trying to manifest this. They're praying to the, I'm telling you, they're praying to the gods that you'll even talk to them. Uh, they really are, Pisces. They really are. Uh, and the universe is kind of driving this. These two cards are, are on top of one another, the magician and the wheel of fortune here. Uh, this is, there's almost no free will at play here. You two are like, it's sort of like, and I'm speaking metaphorically, apply it to your thing, but... You know, you two will like literally run into each other. Even if you live 6,000 miles apart, you'll like fly somewhere and they'll like fly somewhere. And it's one of those situations where you'll run into each other in an airport 3,000 miles away from where each of you lives kind of a thing. That's the kind of energy that's here. It's, their manifestation is very good, um, very good. And it's causing the wheel to turn, basically. Uh, that's... Really, the energy is here. It's very pure. It's very strong. This person has good intentions. What's the final outcome? The lovers. 
final outcome, the lovers. This is, why is it so, I got the lovers and the magician and the nine of cups and the wheel of fortune. This is a twin flame connection on crack, okay? Or at least a very, very, very deep soul connection. However, in this position, the meaning of this card for me um, is, is a choice that they don't have any choice but to make. It's verifying. Sometimes when I yammer on, the cards will verify what I'm saying or disprove it. This is verifying what I'm saying, okay? There's a choice, but there isn't a choice. This is major arcana, all right? The universe is stepping in here. You two are supposed to connect for some reason, okay? This is supposed to happen, and it didn't happen. And that message is clear from the cards, from the first two card reads failing. Okay, my computer never fails. I mean, yeah, it does sometimes. It failed once on a cancer reading. It wouldn't shut down. I had to do that. Okay, so lately it's been failing a little. But, but to have it fail two times and have this be the third reading, I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. You know, the, the, it's, it's, it's like the universe. It's like the only thing it could do to tell me I didn't get the right shuffle. Okay, it wanted a better shuffle. So what's it do? It breaks the computer. You know, okay, fine. You know, it's probably pretty easy to do. It's an, old, it's an older Windows computer. It's pretty easy to crash it, I suppose, if you want to. But it's usually pretty reliable. Um, my point is they, they don't have a choice. There's a choice here, but neither one of you have a choice. Uh, it's just ver verifying what I was going to say. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is turning. You, got, you guys are, gonna ju are, are supposed to connect. You guys are just going to run into each other somewhere or something. Or they're just going to reach out. Or you're, someone's going to tag you in something and them in the same thing. And then you end up just kind of reconnecting, kind of something like that. Or this is interesting. The King of Cups can be a little bit manipulative. Okay, just a thought. I, I know this won't apply to all of you out there, but for one or two of you watching, this person's going to try something slick. They're going to try to get a friend involved and have that friend be sort of a, a catalyst for you two coming together. Okay, that's not for all of you. That's just for one or two of you. Let's clarify this thing. Let's see where we go here. Let me shuffle the deck. What's this Wheel of Fortune about? What's this Wheel of Fortune about? What do we got here? All right, what do we got? What do we got? Death, Major Arcana, clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. Transition, forced by the universe. Major Arcana on top of Major Arcana. I hope I don't get another Major Arcana here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to see that necessarily, depending on which one it was. I didn't. I got the Knight of Cups, okay? Forcing the Knight of Cups to come, forcing you two together in love. The universe on top of the universe, major arcana clarifying, major po powerful transformational major arcana, two cards of powerful transformation, forcing the Knight of Cups to come your way, a cup of love to come your way. This doesn't have to be you or them. It's just a cup of love. And that's what's really weird about the energy around this reading. It's, it's not necessarily that you're going towards them or they're coming towards you. It's this cup of love is coming. You two are coming together. Okay? Does that make sense? It, 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 you could pretty much just sit there. You know, you can run, but you can't hide kind of thing. What's this King of Cups about? Knight of Wands. All right. And the Page of Pentacles. All right? This is a card of communication for me. This is earthy, studious communication. Knight of Wands, it's coming fast. It's going to be a surprise, all right? It, 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 they're trying to curb a little bit of, the, uh, of their past ways. I don't, want to, I don't like calling this a player card. I don't. I don't think this person was a player. I'm actually getting a lot of shyness from this person or a lack of self-confidence, perhaps. Uh, self-esteem, if you will. Um, they're trying to curb whatever that was in the past that did that. And they want to approach in a very steady, earthy, you know, uh, pentacle-y kind of manner. So they're probably thinking about everything they're going to say to you. Or, again, like I said, for, for many of you, they're planning a way, finding a way. And that came up in the second reading where the video failed. They were planning a way to come in and, and kind of make that and make, make something come together. Uh, they're trying to figure out a way to do it. All right. Oh, my God. Uh, that was uh, part, that's part of the Seven of Cups that was at the bottom of the deck for sure. What's this Nine of Cups? You're their wish fulfilled, Pisces. Yeah. Six of Swords. You know, the, uh, the Five of Swords. So they think it's too late. 
they uh, this is they think you've moved on this is six of swords it's moving on to calmer waters in the position that it appears clarifying the nine of cups they think you may have moved on okay um this is laying down arms you've given up you've given up the fight uh sometimes it depends how readers read this differently i'm i'm not going to keep defending how i read the cards because i read the cards intuitively but i realize other readers ha tell the story of someone taking credit for a battle they didn't fight and all kinds of self-deception here and it depends on the position that it's in i may read it that way but this is laying down of arms the five of swords okay it's laying down arms it's the end of fighting it's you moving on to calmer waters that's what they think that's what they think they think it might be too late and they're worried about that that's why they're scheming to come up with ways to come in um, that scheming is being driven by the universe the universe is helping them so if they get a friend to you know intervene and, and do something it's all fate driven all of it it's all fate driven but they're manifesting this okay they're they're thinking about if you if you're wondering if they're thinking about you they are okay <laughs> believe me eight of wands clarifying the magician all this manifestation they're manifesting communication the eight of wands is communication out of the blue in this case i'm really getting but they're manifesting communication we put the word why here because they want a reunion with you three of cups you know again the cards talk the cards tell a story i can read the energy without the cards i don't need the cards on the table but you'd just be looking at a blank table so you know but here it is yeah they're manifesting communication because they want a reunion and the whole thing is supported by the universe which tells because of where the major arcanas are placed here and it's especially this lovers and it tells me that there's a reason you two are supposed to come together there was a reason you the fact that you didn't before was wasn't necessarily a mistake it was just a miss in the energy and the energy is, has come back around we're seeing this a lot in the readings i saw this a lot in the mid-march readings uh this cyclical energy coming back around try again try again kind of a thing it's going to keep coming around it's a karmic loop it's going to keep coming around for you two until you connect uh, but this time you've got the death card and the wheel of fortune behind you and they got the magician behind them uh and the lover's card here is a choice in this case in this position a choice made by the universe not by you two all right what's this about a major arcana justice okay the universe is bringing justice the black cat and the white cat are going to get together okay it's happening it's freaking happening pisces I, i'm telling you even if you hide in your house this person will all of a sudden join some organization that goes door to door and they will show up at your house one day i'm not even kidding this is almost unavoidable fate it is unavoidable fate i may put that in the title i like that unavoidable fate okay why is this justice here 10 of freaking cups i swear to god this is amazing 10 of, this is a happily ever after card the rainbow the happily ever after skipping off into the sunset the that's why the justice card is here that's why the universe is stepping in because there's happiness in this connection uh it, it, Connections are separate from the two 3D people, as I've explained to many of you in, in personal readings and maybe a few of these YouTube readings. But uh, the connection is in the 5D. The two 3D people feed each feed the connection, okay? There's so much positive energy in this connection. It, it has nowhere to go unless you two connect, okay? It has nowhere to go unless you two connect, and the universe is just making it happen. It, it, the energy itself is fueling the universe to make it happen it's so hard to put this into words it's so hard to find the words they, but i think i just described it fairly well okay the energy of the connection itself is dry which is 5d universe etc is driving you two together it's it's just it's i have not seen anything like this in quite some time i have not felt anything like this in quite some time this is absolutely mind-blowing what's happening here I mean, I would almost be tempted to tell you, and I, obviously I'm kidding, okay? But I would, I would be tempted to tell you, hide. Just, just go like, like a game of hide and seek. Just go hide somewhere. Go to another city for a year or something. I, the person will show up. 
that it'll end up being that that's the reason you run into each other because you did that sort of a thing. It's so hard to put into words, but this is so faded. There's so much destiny here and there's so much happiness in the connection. It, it's ridiculous. And your person is manifesting this and they're a good manifester. They're doing a good job. They've got the universe on board with death, wheel, fortune, lovers, and justice. They got the damn universe on board with them. Uh, the universe is behind this connection. 100%. Um, I'm not sure what happened in the past. I'm not getting a lot about that. I'm shuffling the deck to see if there's any messages from the universe. Anything else the universe wants us to know about this connection. You can see my shadow. My, my shuffle shadow. There it is. There we go. Uh, the lighting in here is weird tonight. I don't know. The whole, the whole night's been weird. It's this new moon in Pisces we just had. The power went out here today. The internet went out here today. It's been mucking with stuff. It's crazy. This is the third try of your reading. I mean, it's crazy. And, and this is crazy energy. I, I'm, not, I'm not fooling you. This is, I mean, any of you out there who are empathic that read energy, you should be able to read it through your screen. I mean, you certainly can, can at least feel what I'm feeling here and how off it is a little bit. You know, how destined it is. There's so much happiness in the connection. I think this person, I'm not getting any info about what happened in the past, but I think this person was just, they weren't themselves at the time that you first entered the scene. And, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not getting anything nefarious. I'm just getting, they really want to work on this with you and they really feel like uh, it's too late. You know, like, like uh, they blew it or you you won't talk to them or you know it's too late to bring it up is a message i'm getting uh if that may resonate with somebody let's cut the deck for the universe let's see where we go it had me do a lot of shuffling there okay and the video seems to still be running so this must be the reading pisces uh <laughs> oh my god top card out two of cups yeah we got a wicked two of cups and the lovers we got a wicked soulmate here Soulmate connection, big time. Two of Cups, Lovers, Wheel of Fortune, Magician, Justice. I mean, this is uh, Nine of Cups, probably Nine of Cups, probably, and the Magician and the Lovers. That's a soul contract. And the Two of Cups, you guys, you have a soul contract together. That's why this is. I mean, those these cards all out. I got every soulmate card in the deck out on the table. All I'm missing is the Ace of Cups. For God's sake. And look what came back. The next card out. The seven of cups from the bottom of the deck at the beginning of the reading found its way back up. Again, this two of, this two of cups, not only does it, you know, just hammer home this is a powerful soul connection. This is two soulmates coming together. Long lost soulmates usually. Okay. Especially when the lovers is also out. Okay. And I know few readers who would disagree with me on that. However, this um, Seven of Cups is clarifying this, okay? And this was the card from the bottom of the deck earlier. Again, in order for, they're just afraid that it's, it's too late. They're trying to come up desperately, trying to come up with, with ways to approach you, okay? So maybe in knowing that, and I don't have any cards that tell me that they're watching. You remember I said the only thing missing was the Ace of Cups? It's the next one out. It's the next one off. It's the next one in there. It's the, I always pull three cards and I clarify and for, for, for the universe, I pull in layers of three. That's the third card out. Can you freaking believe that? I just mentioned it too. And I'm, I'm holding the deck right here. It's freaking unreal. This is real, real serious shit, Pisces. This is a serious soulmate connection. I don't have any cards that indicate that they're watching your social media or anything here. I'm not picking up that vibe, but I would put some kind of message out on your social media, some strategic message. If you want to hear from this person, if you have some sympathy for them for not coming in or whatever, or they were just shy or, or they just weren't themselves, uh, put some kind of strategic message out that makes you more approachable. Uh, I can't tell you what. That's up to you. Okay, Make your own decisions. But it's just a suggestion. I'm just reading the cards and energy here. But... I think that's a good thing. I think that would be a wise thing to do if you want to hear from this person because they're really struggling. I'm getting that to come up with a way to come in and approach you. And again, if you don't do that, if you don't want to, I don't freaking think it matters. There's so much fate and destiny here. I don't, it doesn't, all the cards that indicate, look, I'm, I'm, I'll show you. Uh, the, yeah, the Ace of Cups is just major love, huge love for you. Okay, that's, that's just the third clarifier here of the Two of Cups. I mean, it's, you know, whatever. 
Um, I'll just point out that all the cards that indicate that they're afraid you've walked away or it's too late are minor arcana. Okay? So it's changeable. All the cards that are about action and, you know, uh, fate and destiny and, and in, in places that make things happen within the reading are major arcana. Okay? So it's just minor arcana. It's just in their head that they think you've walked away. It's not enough to stop them. It's not enough to stop the universe with the death card and the wheel of fortune and the lovers and the justice from making this ten of cups happen. This, this happiness. It's not enough. So you don't have to put the post out on social media. I'm just suggesting it. Okay? Oh my God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look just what the next one is. The King of Wands. Uh, huge passion for you. Again, this is clarifying the Ace of Cups. A lot of love. Huge passion. Great. We probably already knew that. Bottom of the deck to end the reading. Three of Pentacles. Okay? Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the Tower and the Four of Cups, and the Empress, okay? Three of Pentacles, they want to work on it with you, okay? They want to work on this with you. Some sort of, a, you know, some sort of catalyst is happening. The Tower is a major arcana. What the universe is saying here is, yeah, I got this, okay? With the major arcanas, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Death. Whatever it is, there's going to be a catalyst that makes you two come together, a catalyst is something that acts upon something to make it happen. So, like, maybe it's the friend scenario, I said. The third party who comes in and intervenes or, you know, something like that. Uh, the Four of Cups here, again, is screaming. Usually I would say, oh, they didn't accept your love in the past or, or they're apathetic about it. No, the Four of Cups here in this reading, this was at the bottom of the deck for reading one where the filming stopped and the computer shut down. And the clear indication of this, the energy is still the same around it. It's, it's not over, Pisces. It's the same as your message for your mid-March. This card represents it. You think it's over? It's not. Cause that's, and that here is clarified by the Empress. The best card, in my freaking opinion, to get in a love reading. And we're ending our reading with the Empress in the Universe position and the Ten of Cups in the main reading. Happily ever after, abundance, 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 something new birthing, a moon revealing of things you didn't know. I mean, come on. This is amazing. I'm going to tell you right now, this is a faded connection. Something's going on here, Pisces. The universe is driving this. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, doesn't matter. It's there. And it probably has a lot to do, and my and the reason the reading failed two other times, and this is the third try, and everything that's been going on. We got the we got the new moon in Pisces. We got Mercury moving into Pisces tomorrow. And again, I know this is a timeless reading, and uh, somebody's going to watch this two and a half years from go uh, from now and go, no, it's not, and that's fine. Energies are cyclical, but I'm talking to the people who are watching it right now when it's first produced. Um, there's a lot of planets, a lot of planetary activity in Pisces. And, that, and while I don't think tarot is astrology, the astrology does pull on the energies a little bit. And that's why we sort of pull for signs and things like that. But, you know, there's, there's a lot of pull in Pisces right now. So um, you might want to watch this reading a couple of times. There's a lot of information here. And a lot of it was revealed as we kind of went through because these energies are tough for me to... Uh, kind of get a, a grasp on because they're very powerful. Uh, it's very strong. It's hard to translate it into words Those because the energies are felt uh, by me and then I translate it into words. You try translating feelings into words. I bet a lot of you can't do that. That's a really hard thing. It, it's what kills relationships, the inability to translate feelings into words. Uh, you know, it's a very difficult thing to do. Uh, and this is tough because this is very powerful. So, and that's why also why I explained general reading to you and what the energies are. They're the general wrapping of things, uh, whereas your individual stories branch off of those. So you have to apply it to there. But all of you, okay, anyone who's still here who resonates with this, I don't care about your specific stories that branch off. All of you, as far as the general wrapping here, uh, there's a faded situation, okay? And the universe is taking it in its hands and it's, 
going to come together. You're either going to run into this person or someone, something's going to act as a catalyst to bring you two together. Um, either way, they're manifesting communication and reunion with you. So you definitely check this out a few times. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the subscribers. You guys are fabulous. Um, I, I really appreciate the love. It's terrific. Uh, again, if you want a personal reading, it's stevesloveterro.com. Get your readings in fast. They, I only have so many slots, you know, so um, I'm only one guy. So, you know, I can, and you know, I, I can't, I can't do like eight readings a minute or something like that. So anyway, uh, stevesloveterro.com links in the uh, description and on the YouTube feed uh, or YouTube channel. So here you go. Yeah, this is amazing. Good luck with this Pisces. <laughs> you know, wow, this is, you, we really got something going on here for sure.